Let my prayer rise up like incense before you. The, the words of Psalm 141 remind us of one of the roles of incense. Incense, like any other liturgical act, is not something that's done during prayer, but is itself prayer. Incense is a component of the liturgy that may not be that familiar to people from certain parts of the Anglican Communion, uh, but it is more and more part of the mainline church. Like other components of the liturgy, it doesn't have a single meaning or even limited meanings. Incense is evocative and it's primitive, and it can inspire a wide range of insights, memories, and emotions in each member of the gathered people. Within the Judeo-Christian context, the rising aromatic smoke also echoes innumerable scriptural references, and so it draws us deep from and into the well of our religious imagination. Um, incense in our church, um, the Anglican Church, is customarily used three times during the Eucharist. It's used during the entrance procession uh, during a Eucharistic service, so as we come into worship, it's also used at the proclamation of the gospel, where the deacon uh, senses the gospel uh, before reading. And it's also used at the offertory, when the presider, the celebrant, uh, senses the gifts and the, the table. Um, Psalm 141 uh, evokes for us the, again, my prayer rising up like incense before you. And Revelation 8, 1-4 tells us that the smoke of incense rose with the prayers of the saints. Uh, again, not the only meaning, but uh, for incense uh, can have many, uh, and affect us on many different levels. Um, at the cathedral, the custom is to use incense on what we call sometimes as high holy days, uh, significant feasts, principal feasts. Uh, these are the Epiphany, the Baptism of the Lord, Candlemas, um, Palm Sunday, Maundy Thursday, Easter Vigil, Easter Sunday, Ascension Day, the Day of Pentecost, Trinity Sunday, Holy Cross Day, the Reign of Christ, All Saints, Christmas Eve, and Christmas Day. And in addition, during certain diocesan liturgies, like the ordinations of priests and deacons, the consecration of a bishop, uh, confirmation, and also during the blessing of the oils during Holy Week. These are not the only times, but these are traditionally uh, what uh, we've used at the cathedral. So whether incense is new to you or old to you, uh, it can be, again, a form of prayer, uh, and it is part of the rich tapestry uh, of the Anglican Communion. Have a blessed day.